Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we're going to be checking out a mod that I know a lot of you Chevy guys are definitely going to be down for. So, we've come to Winter Proving Grounds, which is something we don't normally do. Normally, I go to Summer Proving Grounds, but I figured we'd take it to Winter Proving Grounds today because we don't really come here very often. Now, obviously, we're looking at the starter truck right now, which is this Freightliner, but we are going to be messing around with this Chevy Kodiak, which is basically... The ultimate Chevy Kodiak in terms of mods right now. Now, as you can see, it's already got a bunch of lift. It's already got a front axle under it. The tires are already bigger. Um, it's got this giant, like, sort of wraparound cage bumper on the front. And we're going to fire it up and take it into the garage and see what all we could do to this thing. Because there should be a lot. There should be uh, a, a lot more that that you could do to this than you could do to the stock one. That's for sure. So, let's go ahead and jump to the garage. Now, obviously, it already looks really, really built and really tough right off the bat. But, in terms of customization, we have one engine option. That is the UI Mod Grizzly Zero name. And then UI Gearbox Mod Grizzly Default. Something makes me think that this isn't completely done yet. But, you know what? We'll let that slide. We'll let that slide. So, suspension-wise, you have the stock suspension that comes with it. However... This suspension is obviously a very modified version of what you would originally call stock for the Kodiak. Now, the raised suspension is even higher, and then the tuned custom is even higher. And for the purposes of this particular build, we're going to go with the tuned custom because it's huge. Now, right now, it's on 49s, but you can go all the way up to a 54-inch mud tire on this thing. Now, 54s are huge. I mean, and I, I nobody needs to tell you that 54s are huge. I mean, it's sort of just universally accepted that 54s are gigantic. Now, you even have the option of going with a chained 52, but for the purposes of this particular part of the build, we are going to go with a 54. Now, I'm not sure how well these will do in the snow, but what I do know is that they're gigantic and we're going to run them anyway. Now, obviously, you really only have a few different winch options. I mean, I'm going to go with the most expensive one because it looks like it says UI winch upgrade mod grizzly EXT, P like EXT power description. I, I don't know. But anyways, odd file names aside, this is either going to be an extended winch or a extended and uh, battery powered winch. So we'll see when we start playing around with it. Now, diff lock is, let's see, oh, engageable. I mean, it's always on right now, so no worries about that. Spare wheel, I'm not going to worry about it. Tall front-facing snorkel, I'm going to go ahead and throw it on, because why not? And then, obviously, as you can see, on the biggest lift, a crane will weigh it down in the rear considerably. So will a van body. And a sideboard bed, not too much. Fuel trailer weighs it down tremendously. And I'm probably going to just go ahead and do the flatbed just to, you know, just to have something on the back so it's not completely barren. And I'm going to do, eh, we might as well do the angled sun visor. And then, let's see, raised beacon, roof fog lights, eh, they kind of look a little tacked on. Let's see, winch pipe, hood protector, axle protecting, and stock. I really like the hood protector. I think the hood protector looks really mean and really tough. Let's see, cavern protector... Wait, fog light protective bar? Huh. I'm going to go with the cabin protector for sure, but I don't know about the protective bar. Now, let's see. What wheels do we want to run? I kind of like these, actually. They're a little different, but I kind of dig them. Now, this thing does come with a few different colors, and I really like this. This is kind of different. This green and black is an odd thing. I mean, I don't know if that's something that... Y'all would be interested in, but, like, it's there if the if you wanted to go with that. I'm going to go with this blue, you know, blue, white, and black. And we're going to go ahead and, I mean, let's just look at it for a second. I mean, just look at it. Look at the size of the thing. It's absolutely enormous. And, I don't know, if you're into mods, I personally think that this has a place in anybody's garage. But we're going to go ahead and leave the garage now and give this thing a try. It's definitely got a lot of torque. It moves out right out of the gate. Oh, it definitely moves out. Now, obviously, we need to take this thing to the mud because this thing is one of those trucks that it was made for mud. I mean, you can't not test it in mud, but I do want to test it on the ice. 
I do want to test it on the ice. That is something that I know it's not made for. We even have an ice hill that we could take it to. I know these tires are not going to be good on ice. Oh my god. Cue the Eurobeat. Oh my god. Now oh my god. Oh, Torifto. All good. No, we're not. Well, time to find out if that winch is autonomous. Nope. It is not autonomous in the least. Well, took it out and immediately crashed it. And that's that. So, let's see. Let's throw another one out there on the ice. We'll go ahead and swap over to it. And let's see. Change truck. Ah, it's too far away. Dang it. Hold on. Map, please. Kodiak C70. And now, we get to build it up from the mobile garage, which isn't exactly the, you know, isn't exactly the most interesting way to do things, but there we go. Ultimate suspension. And let's see. Mud tires, single, whoa, cat. Oh, there we go. We'll run those this time. And then, let's see. Uh, we only really have one engine option. And, well, wheels, suspension, add-ons and trailers. There we go. Beacon, default, ah, sideboard. That's fine. We'll go with the sideboard. It's pretty much almost exactly what we had before, just with minor differences. Let's see if it can climb the ice hill. It's a little all over the place, but it can climb it. Well... I don't know, actually. Oh, no! No, that's it! It's been done in. It's been done in, my dudes. Let's see. Garage. And let's go back to tires because... Chains. Let's try the chain setup. Wow, the difference is incredible. Look at that. It just took off. It just took off straight up the ice hill. That is insane. It was just like, yep, this is what we're doing now. Oh, God, it's even steeper on this side. Oh, Dorifto! Oh, God, I'm going to throw it around and try to go back up. If it would, yeah, if it would turn back around. Yikes. That's like a half pipe back there. That's so sick. Dude, it, wow, it doesn't even phase it. That's incredible. I mean, it's sliding a little bit, but not very much. Not enough to where it would be an issue or a concern. Oh, jeez. I'm going to use that snow as a ramp. Dorifto! Oh, my God! Oh, wow. It just held the same angle and... Ooh. Well, you can forget about using that as a ramp. It doesn't actually turn into anything. It just... <laughs> it just literally smashes into the freaking snow bank. It's like, oh, we have a snow bank here. And... We're just gonna smash into it. We're we're not even gonna like we're not even gonna think of driving out of it. We're just gonna straight up smash into it. Yeet. And stop. Alright. Got a little bit of a mud test for you now. Let's swap back over to the mud tires off the cat, which I believe are also 54s. And head for the mud. Well, that doesn't phase it in the least. Holy smokes. That's like, oh, okay. You wanted me to do what now? Because we're not even working. Yeah, just, oh, it's a little top heavy. It's a little top heavy. And I can't, you know, uh, oh, reload. Oh, bruh. Hold on. I didn't mean to reload in that sense. Oh, boy. Hang on. All right. Create. I'll put it in one more time, and I'll probably... Actually, you know what I'm going to do with this one? I'm not even going to build it. I'm just going to use it to rescue the other one. Like, that's the level we're at right now. I'm going to try and flip it, and then flip it again. This is probably not going to work, but it's fine. Actually, it worked really well. Never mind, never mind it not working. That worked really well. Oh, <laughs> you know, even though it is a little bit tippy and a little bit, you know, roly poly, it's actually like fairly manageable in terms of, you know, suspension compliance. Let's see how it is in the deep snow. Well, it rolls in high through the deep snow. No problem. It's like, oh, that again, no problem. Oh, my God. It just bounced straight off of that. 
Let's go in low plus. It, it has enough suspension travel to just barely make it over these piles of logs. Oh, not that one. Not that one. It's literally just pulling these little trees out of the ground. Literally straight up pulling them out of the ground. Needs a rescue, apparently. Let's go, Freightliner. Oh, God. Back it up. Back it up. Let's go. Come with me. Oh, God. Well, that worked. That worked actually a whole heck of a lot better than I thought it was going to. Stop engine, change truck, go back to the Kodiak now. I have one more section that I really want to take it to because not only does it intrigue me, but it kind of makes me wonder if this is going to be where this truck meets its doom. And it's this really deep mud and snow combo section over here. This has really truly done in multiple trucks for me so oh it's moving uh come on can it keep going in high not so much in low plus yeah ah, this is just a car horn dude it's even like it's starting to dig here in low in low plus this is like the lowest of low range God, even this thing on 54-inch tires is having trouble here. That's That says something about how serious some of this snow is. Because it's if it's serious enough to bog this thing down, it's serious enough to bog almost anything down. Because this is just about as ultimate as you can get when it comes to, when it comes to a hauling-slash-scout vehicle. I mean, it, yes, it's a mod, but still, my god, it's, it's dang capable. I wonder if the snow will get a little bit easier over here on the edge. And also, I don't know what that, like, if that's a weird texture glitch or if that's just there. Oh, nope. I'm trying to, like, suggest second gear. And it won't even take a suggestion for second gear. It's like one of those things where it's like, uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. And that is not in our vocabulary at the current moment in time. So, yeah, you're just going to deal with it. And that's what it's going to be. They're finally out of that crap. Oh, God. Let's see what happens down here. I'm just going to dive into this, like, ice half pipe. Small yeet. Oh, God. <laughs> it's literally going back and forth. It won't even go anywhere. Oh, if you, if you want to get a truck completely freaking stuck, this is where you take it. Unless you obviously have chain tires, but... Third... Third, third, what well, goes back to first? Jeez. Third, immediately first. God, it, it has no liking for this whatsoever. Oh, there it goes. Got that little bit of grip that it needed. I'm going to actually try and run this little high up trail. I've never taken anything up there before, and I don't know if this thing's going to love it or hate it, but partially, I don't know. Partially, I feel like it's going to hate it. And then, oh, God, it's sliding down. It's sliding down. Whoa! Ow. Kind of wondered if I could keep it in high for that. And my assumption of no, you're not going to be able to keep it in high was pretty much correct. Can you wind your way around this edge? Maybe? Sort of? Kind of? No? No? Not even, like, with everything fully locked down. Wow. It basically said, yeah, nope, we're not able to go that way, and you're going to deal with it. Unless we go this way, which is a possibility, but... No, nah, it's still too slick. It's still genuinely too slick. I mean, there's really not much more that we could test this thing out with at this point. I mean, unless we test it out with hauling, which we could do, but I want you guys to let me know in the comments below, because I don't know if, like... I don't know if hauling would be one of those things where, like, a lot of people would think it was just unfair, but, like, I do like trucks like this, but, again, I really only play with them in the testing ground mode, and I don't play with them in the single-player mode because I don't want mods to affect my single-player campaign experience at, since I'm still really playing through the game. So, with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this test. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe and hit that notification bell, and I'll see you all next time.